Hi traders, here's a new video. First of all, the risk warning, your invested capital might be at risk. Don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose. And this video is not an investment advice. So this video is another deep explanation video. And this time we are going to talk about how to trade and not how to um, predict the next candlestick. Yes, because uh, we are going deeper in the candlestick psychology part. Yes, where I'm going to show you exactly how you have to read the candlesticks. Yes, uh, to predict the next one, to calculate the next one. Yes, this is uh, not a gambling. Yes, it's really calculating, understanding what the rigs are telling you, what candlestick psychology is uh, telling you about the next candle. Yes, that is what binary option traders are trying to do. And also so forex and and digital options and ethics option trader yes it depends only on the time frame but the time frame doesn't matter because candlesticks are candlesticks yes and uh, the market condition is the market condition and so you can uh, predict the next candlestick and that with the accuracy above 80 percent yes and that is almost um, profitable that is almost all everything what you should know so and that will be this time much more in detail but before we are going to talk about this i have to uh, suggest you to watch my latest video that was a video where I talked about the trader's mindset, the trader's skill set and the trader's vehicle. Yes, um, uh, what this means uh, I have explained in the last video. You have to get the trader's mindset, you have to get the trader's uh, skill set and then you have to get the trader's vehicle. Yes, and then if you have those things together, you have to put in work and time and dedication and then you will become a successful profitable trader. Yes, but it's you will understand also from this video now that it's not only done by watching one video yes you have to watch much more videos and you have to apply those kind of things also in your trading and practicing those concepts because else you will not be successful because it cannot be done only by watching videos and by uh, uh, watching one or two videos and I will show you why. Because here we have the price action guide. Yes, and all those things which I'm explaining in this video now are based on those concepts. And I will show you today also how to trade those kind of concepts and what kind of concepts I'm talking about. Because I get almost the same questions. First of all, the first question which I get is where do I get the price action guide and the price action bible? The price action guide and the price action guide uh, bible are uh, linked in the description. You have to open the description of the video to see what is where you can get the price action guide and the price action by the So, and the difference, because that is the next question, the best difference between the price action guide and the price action by the is simple. Yes, this is the price action guide here. And this price action guide has like you can see 120 pages there are the bot sure shots there are the concepts the binary option concepts which can be applied to forex digital options and ethics options yes because there are price action concepts there are the chart pattern yes and there are the candlestick patterns yes and that is and there are the mindset series yes where i have explained uh, what uh, kind of mindset traders mindset um, is a um, skill set yes and the uh, vehicle has what kind of impact on your trading that is the price action guide it has 120 pages <clears throat> yes of full price action information so then the difference between this is because this is another question the difference between the price action guide and the price action bible is this because this is the price action bible yes the price action bible is this one and you see here almost yes i will go here to the last page in the last page, you see the Price Action Bible has 260 pages. Yes, and that is the complete uh, um, education stuff. Yes, which is also included in the Bot Mentorship Program as educational material. Yes, where everything is explained in detail, really, really in detail. I can show you this here, for example, the Bot Sure Shot. That is what you get in the Price Action Bible, uh, in the Price Action Guide. The bot sure shot six that is what you get there and in the bible you get every and each condition here you have the put yes the put condition and here you have the call condition on the same concept yes based on the different ones you see you get here this left part and the right part detailed explained and that is through 260 pages all information about how to trade each and every concept Yes, 
how to trade each and every chart pattern and how to trade each and every candlestick pattern. There is nothing else what is so detailed like this one here. Yes, there are also those kind of uh, things which also are in the price action guide. Yes, but here in this price action Bible, you get this everything really detailed and you can take this part. You can copy that in the translator if you need. Yes, because I get almost questions. Can I have the price action Bible in Urdu? Can I have the price action guide in Vietnamese? Yes, Vietnamese or how it's called. Can I have the Chinese? Can I have this price action Bible? I have not the time to do this. Yes, you take this sim sentence here. Yes, this sentence, and then you copy this into a translator, and then you know what it is because the English is really easy. Yes, and it's not complicated, and so you can use it. So, all those kind of things which I'm explaining today, I will show you. Yes, are included in the price action guide and in the price action Bible. And you need those concepts to understand. So I will show you now what this means. So we have here the price action Bible. Yes, here's the price action Bible. And here are some of my students and some of my uh, Facebook um, uh, members and some of my uh, subscribers who have uh, uh, bought this kind of ebook. Yes, and they have printed it. You see here 160 pages printed. Yes, here as um, in educational material here you see printed and there's a 120 pages so if you believe you would can't uh, success in trading in binary option trading in forex trading in digital options trading or in ethics option trading without the knowledge yes then i have to get you back to the ground and to tell you that this will be not will not be successful because there is a reason why I'm teaching all that kind of stuff here. Yes, you see 120 pages here printed that are all concepts and that is really compressed. All information compressed on one edge. You see, it's not written anything. Yes, it's only illustration and then obviously educational material, um, additional material to the to the videos which I have provided. Yes, if you don't have the time to watch the videos, get the Bible. Yes, in the Bible, you can see this here. Uh, you see what this is, that is 260 pages. Yes, it's much bigger. Yes, but that is explained everything in detail, much more in detail. And I can say only that the price for both, yes, is really a gift. Yes, it's like uh, uh, giving it away for free. Yes, because at the end it costs nearly nothing. This what there is in content will change your life, yes, but the money which you will spend for it is really not life changing, yes, because it doesn't matter if you have this money or not, yes, because it's really ridiculous, yes. This 260 pages full of knowledge, this 260 pages which I have given all my experience into this ebook, yes, uh, is a year long experience and only me has done this kind of ebook which is explaining such kind of things so in detail yes uh, the, like no one else yes and that is a proof that i know from what i'm talking about yes and uh, that is the reason why my bot mentorship program is so successful yes and why i'm so able to teach everyone yes to be become successful profitable yes because i have the knowledge in me yes i I know what am I talking about? Yes, to make an uh, ebook which has 260 pages, yes, with full of, of price action concepts of binary options which are working. Yes, that is uh, what um, you get uh, always be improving. Yes, by all those kind of traders who are in the Facebook group. Yes, and those one who are um, in uh, subscribers, my subscribers, and also those one who are in my bot mentorship program and get graduated every Friday. I release my students. A lot of students, yes, who became successful, profitable, yes, and they are really thankful for that to be in or to have been in the bot mentorship program because you get from me the only unique education how to become successful, profitable, yes, with all kind of stuff which you need uh, and uh, no scam and nothing. So, and that is the price action Bible, that is the price action guide. You see uh, printed stuff here, really good uh, educational stuff here. You see they watch my videos and while watching my videos, they are studying my stuff here. Yes, those things which I have explained here is some, somebody who makes me really proud because he stumped all my candlestick patterns and used them while trading yes, on IQ option. Yes, really nice. Here another one who, started, who printed this. Yes, and that is how the price action guide is. Yes, and the price action Bible. Yes, it's a white 
right one. It's not all for so uh, I didn't call it for fun Bible. Yes, because it's like the recommendation. You get from me exactly how you have to trade the engulfing candle, how to trade the evening star, and so on and so on. So the next one is uh, the uh, uh, video packs. Yes, if you have not the time to join the bot mentorship program, or you are getting rejected from the bot mentorship program application process, yes, or uh, you are not willing to pay for this, yes, uh, there are one million reasons why you could not do, yes, or uh, you can do church a lot of the exclusions, yes, you have um, also you have time limited, yes, then you can get the video pack, yes, there's video pack one, video pack two, video pack three, and video pack four, all in a different um, level of education. Yes, of my students in the bot mentorship program. Those videos uh, give you instant access to my core knowledge gained in years of experience and they are really dope. Yes, that means you will get a really good education. You will know exactly why some trades are done wrong, why other trades are really good. Yes, uh, so you get a, um, like a pass, a guide what trades you should do instead of doing those things what you are doing at the moment and not being profitable and uh, blowing your account or whatever yes so and then obviously the last questions yes the link to the video packs can be found also in the description yes i have to tell this because i get almost often the question uh, where do i get the video packs where I get the video? in the description where do i get the bible in the description where do i get the um, a price action guide in the description and how do you get into the bot mentorship program yes uh, somebody asked me uh, if i will stop doing the bot mentorship program because he has heard this no i am at the moment not stopping the bot mentorship program you can still apply for this yes and where and how do you apply i have to tell this again because i got questions from uh, students from not from students from uh, subscribers and also from um, the facebook um, group members who asked me how to join the bot mentorship program you have to access the bot mentorship program through the application process you have to write me an email with the subject bot mentorship program and then your application process will start this application process is for free yes it, it's not easy to pass through this application process you have to show dedication you have to give um, you have to invest time to do this, yes. Uh, you can't be rejected while doing this, yes. And from this application process depends the fee you have to pay for the bot mentorship program. Because I get also the question often, how much does the fee uh, for the bot mentorship program is, yes. And I can say only there is not a fixed fee, yes. It depends from the application process and i don't mean that you have to pass through the application process as fast as possible no that's not this it's how good you are doing those kind of answering those kind of questions which i'm asking you uh, last time i got somebody and i had to reject him yes because he asked me uh, he started the application process and uh, the first uh, the, the first um, um, the first uh, um, uh, stage of the application process were a few questions and he only answered with okay i'm interested yes those guys are immediately rejected from the bot mentorship program if i have eight questions there yes i wanted to answer those kind of eight questions and not only okay i'm interested yes i know that you are interested if you would not have been interested you didn't would have contact me yes that is uh, uh, i'm not stupid i know this yes and so if you are not willing to answer those questions which i'm doing yes and you are not even investing a little bit of time you will be not successful not even with my help not even with the bot mentorship program so easy yes that makes me really upset if i see this kind Kind of um, easy peasy mode yes uh, which is really ridiculous and those one believe uh, or want that they become successful profitable trader you will be not successful profitable yes because we are not talking here about a game we are not playing counter strike or whatever yes we are talking about a business yes and i told you already you need for this business the traders mindset yes and the main traders mindset is already also to invest and i don't know talk to you only about money i'm talking about time and to about dedication yes because time is that what what everybody has yes um, and uh, time is that what is limited I have a limited time, you have a limited time, yes, and you know uh, exactly how you are spending your time and if you are not willing to do at least 
answering a few questions, yes, then I have not even the time for you to, uh, to do this kind of stuff with the application process. So easy, yes, and that is the difference. So, and uh, yes, also you find the link, and you, you find the email address in the description too, and you know, uh, to ap apply for the bot mentorship program, send me uh, the uh, email with the subject bot mentorship program, and um, and uh, yes, and then the application process, which is free, will start. Yes, and make uh, prepare yourself that it will be not a thing of a day. Yes, that will take a lot of days. Yes, because it depends almost from that how fast you reply. Yes, and how good you will reply. Because if I see that you are not able and that you're not understanding those kind of things which I have explained in my ebook and what I have explained in my videos, then you will be not passing through the application process. I'm not getting everyone, yes? I want you that to become my business card, and that means that I choose you, and if I see that you are not willing to do anything, I'm not willing to invest time in you, yes? Because uh, that is my time, my time is precious, yes? And I'm not willing to do this. So, and uh, my success rate of my bot mentorship program is the evidence, yes? that uh, this kind of things, uh, this four week crash course is working. Yes, I have released already so many students which got graduated, yes, and which are really thankful for this. So I don't need to, uh, to, um, to uh, do here some kind of testimonial stuff, yes, because if it would be uh, some, some else, yes, you would already know this, yes, because you know here in this kind of business, there are only scammers around, yes, and uh, so you have to understand this. Okay, so we are going now into the deep, uh, deep, um, yes, yeah, so how to predict the next candlestick pattern because uh, the introduction is taking again too long. But I have to answer those questions over and over again because this is really time consuming, always answering the same questions over and over again. And I ask myself, are those guys not watching my videos? Are they don't getting this? I don't know, right? I mean, so I have to answer them. Okay, good. We will now start, yes, and um, this time I have prepared again a live chart which I will draw uh, on, uh, yes, in real time here, yes, and um, I will explain today exactly, and that is what this will be about, how to predict the next candlestick, yes, how to predict next candlestick, how to calculate next candlestick, candlestick psychology revealed, and that is really the foundation. And I will show you exactly what I'm doing here, yes, and that will take maybe a little bit more time today, yes, because I will switch between the uh, concepts which I have explained, yes, and uh, you will see, and you will see exactly, yes, uh, well, how I do my trades and why I took my trades, yes, and you can do this then on your own by trading, yes, and uh, let me see if I can show you this. First of all, I have to switch here the time, yes, the, the price level, yes, that is this one here, the 7.8. This is not a fictive, yes, it's a real, real chart, it's not a fictive one, yes, it's a Euro GPP, yes, and uh, I have traded this. I'm not showing here something what I'm inventing. I have not the time to invent. Yes, I'm getting this kind of chart, but now I will show you exactly what I'm going to do here and why I took the trade and how it takes. Yes, so, okay. I would say we're gonna start now. And uh, yes, I show you now here, what do you see here? Here you see a dark cloud cover. Yes, Let, and uh, yeah, I will show you how to trade the dark cloud cover and I will show you this really in detail today. So, so that is what I mean with candlestick psychology revealed, yes, how to predict the next candlestick. I will show you exactly what I have, what I want to do. So, let me see. I will search here and it will dark cloud cover, yes, dark cloud. So, let me see. I will search this. So here we have the dark cloud cover. Yes, here we have a such kind of engulfing candle. Yes, and this engulfing candle is breaking the 50% level. Yes, of this. So, and you see here where I have drawn this kind of lines. Yes, and this lines and this support and resistance level are those levels where you have to trade the rejection. You see here that is the rejection. Yes, so let me see. That is the rejection here. The arrows means the rejection. Yes, we have the 50% level and here you, do a, you do a put here from this level or you do a put level from the support level, yes? That is what this area is meaning, yes? And 
Um, yes, and that is what the dark cloud, dark cloud cover is about. So I will go back to this. Have this in mind. Get this ebook. Watch the page, and uh, so uh, you can see this. Yes. So and that means what I'm going to do on the next candle. I will do a put on the next candle. Yes. From what kind of level? Yes, exactly. I will do the put on this level from this support and resistance level. Yes, from this level. So next candle will be a put and I have done a put, yes, uh, in the trading, yes. And I will draw now the, um, the candlestick and then I will show you what happens and how you have to do this exactly. One second. Okay, so you see what happens here, yes. The next candle was this kind of doji. And I entered here on this support level, on the rejection from the support level into a put. Yes, like I have explained in the dark cloud cover trade. Yes, and not only this, also like I have explained here and this kind of concept, which I have explained here too. Yes, and that was the concept about the entry point. Yes, that you have to enter above or below the closing price. And also this concept, let me see. Uh, above or below the closing price, that is this one here, engulfing candle, dark cloud cover, etc. Yes, and to enter above the closing price of the previous candle. Yes, and that is what I have done exactly here. And not only this, also this one, because a lot of traders do not understand this. Yes, that you have to wait that price goes first up. Yes, after this kind of candle, the reversal candle. And then in the expiration time down. Yes, and that is exactly that what I have done here. Yes, I have waited that price would go up. Yes, not that price goes down. Yes, price has to go up, getting to this support and resistance level. Yes, and so you can predict the next candle direction. Yes, and how to calculate the next candle by doing this. Yes, and then enter it into a put, and then you get this in the money. Yes, so on the next candle. Uh, uh, the next candle was what exactly I have done on the next candle another put why I have done another put because now is coming the process uh, of uh, not the process of elimination the process of continuation yes because this candle got a rejection from this resistance level that means we have selling pressure yes you are seeing here we are creating here lower lower lows not lower lows lower highs yes lower highs and uh, these lower highs are showing that we are here still into a downtrend. And this rejection here from the support and resistance level is confirming this. Yes, and so you don't have to expect here a fake breakout. Yes, because we are here uh, getting into a downtrend. This rejection here from the support and resistance level is showing, this one here this week, is showing selling pressure because it's showing that, the, that this kind of level is acting as resistance. And why do uh, um, support and resistance level is acting like resistance? Because there is still a downtrend active, yes. And so on the next candle, I enter again into a put, yes, uh, because I was expecting that price would continue to going down, and the next candle was this. And first of all, before I gonna show, uh, first, I, first I show you what kind of candle happens, yes, and then I'm gonna show you why. So one second. Okay, that was the next candle. Yes, nice trend continuation after dark cloud cover retracement downtrend, and that is exactly that concept which I have explained here. Let me show you this. It's important that you're gonna see this because I got so many questions always. Yes, please show what kind of concept you are using there and what kind of concept you are using here. Yes, and that is this one here. Yes, you see here bearish engulfing candle. I have drawn here as no, only the bearish engulfing candle, but it is this is real for every kind of candle. Yes, you see here bearish engulfing candle retracement. Then they're coming up a downtrend. Yes, so easy. Yes, that is what this is. The upper shadow is showing selling pressure. Yes, and then you get into a trend continuation. Those kind of concepts are based on year-long experience brought to uh, yes, brought to you by this ebooks, yes, and uh, with my videos. Yes, so you have to understand this that this is not something fictive. Yes, I'm I have done this on my experience. Dark cloud cover, the same like a bearish engulfing candle, reversal pattern, retracement, upper shadow is showing that there is selling pressure, next candle into a put and you got in the money. So we have already two in the money, this one in the money, this one in the money, 
easy peasy really yes and that was already so the next candle i have waited because we are here in some kind of support and resistance level based on this round number this week here is showing uh, lower shadow is showing that there is maybe some kind of other support level so i was not trading the next one because the previous candle this one red one is too huge yes um, uh, and there should come up some retracement after such kind of use candle because you see it was already a retracement after such kind of small bearish candle so you can expect something after this bearish that is the mm, sense uh, common sense yes that is not only common sense it is normal logic yes you have also to switch on your brain to understand those kind of things so the next candle was then this so that was the next candle. You see, it was a doji. Yes, exactly on this key level, price uh, stopped and st has done a consolidation on lower time frame because that is nothing else than a uh, um, consolidation area on lower time frame. If you would uh, observe this kind of doji, yes, on a five second chart, you would see that it would go up and down, up and down, up and down. So this week is showing now selling pressure. Yes, that is showing selling pressure. So I would enter into a put on the next candle from the rejection from this resistance level based on this doji yes that means this doji is showing here that we got it already conquered the low area the below this yes that is showing selling pressure not buying pressure there will be not a reversal because we are here getting into a minute downtrend yes that is what you have to trade you have to trade this downtrend as long as possible yes and if you see that there will coming up pressure from below yes then you have to switch but this is a doji and this week is showing selling pressure so on the next candle i entered into a trend continuation and what do i do this you try to enter into this trade above the closing price of the previous candle and uh, i'm going to show you this this is the same concept what i have shown you here yes and so uh one second i draw what happens next okay that was the next candle yes that is showing again selling pressure yes we broke this kind of support and resistance level yes uh, and yes and on the next candle yes i didn't i traded this yes because um, i could trade this but i was waiting because i have done already one in the money here another one in the money here yes and then we have to, here's a third trade so i waited for the next candle because uh, also me is not over over trading in this kind of trade case yes i'm waiting to see the best opportunities and that kind of a trade was not so clear because the next support and resistance level was far away so i didn't enter into the next trade but if i would have entered i would have done here a put yes because we were here still into a downtrend this candle is creating a lower low yes with this week here uh, it's, uh, it, con it continues this week was showing selling pressure this candle confirms the selling pressure yes and so i would have entered above this support and resistance level into a put but i haven't done this yet i didn't trade this um, and uh, but i will show you the next few candles and then i'm going to show you what i have done so the next candle was this so that was the next candle yes and um yes and i would say uh, somebody would say now yes that can be now a fake breakout of the uh, 0 0.877 yes but i can tell you no that will be not a fake breakout because price tried to push up but it created again here uh, at this support level uh, this kind of bearish um, gravestone doji yes and you have to understand if this gravestone doji would have been a bullish one or something like a bullish hammer i would have done a fake breakout trade here of this round of this round number yes but because it was in this case a bearish gravestone doji yes and closing exactly on this key level yes um, the next candle was in my opinion a bearish one i didn't trade this yes because we are here in between and it could have been a fake breakout yes also if the probability that it would be favorable are, is, are small i didn't enter yes because if i'm not sure i'm not entering and so i waited for the next candle to see what happening yes and the next candle was this okay so that was the next candle yes and the next candle was showing me what exactly that we are getting now into a reversal from this round number yes 
and uh, because uh, this candle was a bearish candle as yes, this was showing that we have selling pressure this week tried to go further down that was a bearish real body this is showing selling pressure yes i didn't enter into a trade yes because uh, that was uh, some kind of uh, how can I say opposite uh, opinion of the candlestick psychology? Yes, because this is showing selling pressure. This week is showing that we are getting into a rejection, a reversal. And so you have the, um, the selling pressure against the reversal. And so I didn't enter into a trade because it would have been too risky. Yes, I wouldn't uh, have not known what I have to do. Yes, but I would enter into a put if price would go up first and got a rejection. Yes, because I would follow the trend. But I didn't enter into this trade. Yes, and then happens this. So that was the next candle. Yes. And after this, I understood that the trend will be finishing. Yes, now that we are getting far away from the two deviation Bollinger Band. Yes, because that is was all the time the two deviation Bollinger Band. Now we are going far away from it. I waited for the next candle. You see, I'm really patient. I'm waiting. Yes, till I understand what will happen. And the next candle was this. So the next candle was this. Yes, and uh, after this, I entered into a call on the next candle. Yes, because this candle showed me with this wick that we have here some kind of support level that we are going into a reversal this wick is showing buying pressure yes this is a morning star featuring morning star yes that is what i was expecting here because that was already the confirmation yes after this gravestone doji i got this candle this was the confirmation that we are getting now into a reversal but important is the candle has to move first down and then up Yes, and on the next candle, I entered into a call and that was ha what happened. Okay, so, and uh, yes, after this, it was clear, yes, we are getting now into a minor uptrend, but I didn't enter into the next trade because I have already done one trade here, two trades, three trades, yes, then here four trades, yes, and my session was nearly over, yes, and so I was only observing the market from this point on, yes, but I can tell you the next candle here was then a bullish one. Yes, and it looks like this. So, yes, and uh, after this candle broke this kind of resistance level, yes, you can use the next candle here to do a call. Yes, after the candle goes down here, you enter on the rejection into a call. Yes, because this level will switch the polarity. I can show you this here. This is this concept here. Yes, the change of polarity. Yes, and uh, I have forgotten to show you here the morning star. Yes, here's the morning star. Here I had to show you the, um, the gravestone Joji. Yes, and all those kind of stuff. I think you can watch them on your own. Yes, but here you have the change of polarity. Um, that is this one, this part here, what I have talked here. Yes, let me show you this here. The change of polarity, support becomes resistance, resistance becomes support. Price breaks through it, yes, goes back to it, and from back you goes into a um, pullback. Yes, that is what the change of polarity is about. Yes, and uh, I have done, or oh no, I didn't trace this, but I would have done this here. Yes, and that's the reason why the next candle was then this. So, and that after this, it was clear that now it's coming uh, the process of elimination which I have explained so often, yes, because after such kind of strong bullish candle, this kind of weak candle, yes, it's not unfolding like you would expect a nice bullish candle. So you can expect that the next candle will be a bearish one, yes, because the lower shadow, uh, the candlestick psychology of this lower shadow is showing selling pressure. I show you this kind of concept here again. You see all those kind of concepts are explained in the ebook in detail in also with the video. So that is this one here. Yes, here. Bullish Marabuzo candlestick, weak candle at key level. You can expect that price will reverse. Yes. And uh, because we got here in this kind of scenario. Yes. Let me show you this. Here, this is the key level. If I draw this kind of line here, look, look at this. Wait, so, uh, so when I draw this line here to this level, you see it's almost here, this level, yes. So we have here a key level, yes, and because of this key level, yes, the next candle will be most probably a bearish one, yes. And so you could have done here a put option or you could trade again a call option, yes, because this area here will most probably act as 
uh, support level but you have to be sure that the trend is not too strong down yes and because we are here far away we are here in ranging mode yes uh, at the 20 ema maybe yes and so you can uh, expect that the trend is not so strong and so the next candle was this one so that was the next candle this candle is showing again selling pressure because you see this week is breaking through this support and resistance level yes uh, and showing that this area is already penetrated yes and the next candle was then this one but i didn't trade this yes uh, because I have done my session already and I was only observing at, the, at this point yes and uh, on the next candle you got uh, I got this one here look at this so and that was the next candle and important is here that to understand it looks like this kind of chart is really easy yes and it, uh, it doesn't look like a real chart but this was a real chart I have traded this yes it was Euro GPP yes and uh, to be honest Yes, it looks really easy, yes, to trade this, yes, but if you understand what the tricks uh, are telling you, what the candlestick pattern in relation to the uh, support and resistance are telling you, yes, and what uh, the trend is and what, uh, what kind of support and resistance are broken, you are able to predict the next candlestick, yes, and uh, this kind of things here, for example, this concept here, Yes, uh, the not unfolding like expected. So this candle here didn't broke this kind of lower low. What does this mean? That means that the next candle will most probably a fake breakout of this support and resistance level because this candle here didn't broke this level. Yes, that is what you have to understand. And this kind of wick here is showing buying pressure because what do you expect after an evening star? After an evening star, you expect that this candle will break through this kind of support level, which I have explained here. Look at this. That is this concept where I talk about how to draw support and resistance based on candlestick patterns. Yes, you see how all those kind of concepts are really important here. This one here, how to draw support and resistance here. Hammer. Yes, it doesn't matter what color, the lower shadow is giving you a support level. Yes, and obviously this kind of concepts here where I talk about the process as a progression of the candlesticks. Yes, you see all those kind of concepts are getting together and that are the reason why uh, it's not so easy to, you cannot trade only based on candlestick pattern, you cannot trade only based on trend, you cannot base trade only on key level. Yes, you have to understand all those kind of concepts which I have explained in the ebook. So, the next candle was a bullish one. Yes, I will show you this. So, the next one was this bullish one. It was a fake breakout of the support and resistance level. Yes, and uh, yes, and after this, uh, I will draw the next one. Yes, you can predict the next one on your own. I will pause this and you can predict this. The next one was then, uh, um, yes, a bearish one. Um, let me draw this. So, and why was it a bearish one? Because this this uh, evening star is showing that we are getting now in a minute downtrend this uh, dark cloud cover was showing that we are getting into a minute downtrend and that is this kind of concept which i have shown you here let me show you this that was uh, this one here i have shown this so often yes and i think uh, that it should have been in your brain yes you see here engulfing candle that can be a dark cloud cover that can be an evening star and then you trade the MENA downtrend. That's what's happening here. And the same is the opposite. You see here a, a bullish engulfing candle and then you trade this MENA uptrend. Yes, and that is exactly what I have done here. Yes, and what I have observed here. Dark cloud cover, MENA downtrend, morning star, MENA uptrend, evening star, MENA downtrend. And that is what you have to follow. Yes, don't start to believe in any kind of reversals, yes, because that will bring the odds only not in your favor, against your favor, yes, because you have to follow the trend. I see this often on so many stu students, what mentorship program students, I see this in my uh, in the Facebook group on trades, yes, and I see this also from those one who's sending me the screenshot on per email, yes, that they are trading against the trend and they're asking themselves, yes, why it's not working, yes, because they do not understand this. So, and let me show you the next one. Uh, it's clear what's the next one because we got here a, a bearish engulfing candle in a downtrend. That means the trend is still active. And so the next candle will be most probably what? 
So that was this one and this shows again that we have selling pressure, yes, because this wick is showing selling pressure, price tries to go down, price was pushed by buyers again up, but they were not able to change the color of this candle, that means we have still selling pressure, yes, and we are here in a minute downtrend, so what can you expect as next candle? Yes, that was this candle, yes, a nice bearish candle, which stopped with the wick exactly on this key level here, yes, this round number, yes, and because the lower shadow is bigger than the upper shadow, I have explained this concept here, yes, here I have explained this, how you can calculate if the, upper, if the lower shadow is bigger than the upper shadow, also if the real body is bearish, yes, then you can expect that is buying pressure, then you can expect that the next candle will be bullish. That is what I have explained here, how to read upper shadow and lower wick tail about wicks. Yes, this is what I have explained here exactly. Yes, and that is what is happening exactly also here. So the next candle will be what? So that was the next candle. Yes, we got a reversal at this key level. Yes, uh, after the second touch. Yes, and that is nothing else as a piercing pattern. And you here we have again that what I have shown you here. Yes, a piercing pattern is the same what we have here. So you can enter on the next candle into a trend continuation. I don't show you this exactly on the. Um, I don't show you this exactly uh, in the in, in the candlestick pattern because uh, the video is already getting too long. There's only that you understand this. So and the next candle was then what exactly a bullish one. Yes, it looked like uh, similar to this one. Yes. So, and that was already everything. Yes. So, that was the chart. Yes. And after this, yes, because this was a little bit, let me show you this, it was a little bit bigger. Yes. And got a rejection again from this wrong number. Yes. A little bit above this wrong number. This candle didn't unfold like expected. And that was a sign that you can enter into the next candle. Yes, into a put. Yes, it looks like something like this. So only that this was then bearish. So, and that was already. Yes, and I think I have done clear. Yes, I have cleared here a lot of doubts. And I will do this now in a little bit more uh, detailed uh, explanation with um, some more. Uh, uh, yes, with some more explanation and um, uh, errors to show you exactly what I have done here. And to see um, in general, yes, it's not so complicated to understand candlestick psychology. You have only to understand the, uh, the, those kind of few concepts which I have explained in the price action guide and in the price action bible, the uh, process of elimination, the um, highest probability trading setups, yes, how to calculate Yes, and how to read the upper and the lower shadow. Yes, also this kind of concept here. And then the concept about that one which I have explained over and over again. Yes, which were this one about the purchase time and uh, purchase kind time and the expiration time, the, uh, the entry point stuff, the reversal pattern, yes, or, or, or the process of elimination, and how to um, understand that the pressure is coming from above and doing here a trend continuation, yes, after the retracement of a two bar candlestick, yes, and so on and so on, yes, and that are those concepts. And you see how, uh, how complex everything is. And if there is somebody who is telling you that you can understand this all based only on one video, yes, or one uh, simple page, yes, then he is only tricking you, yes, and is trying to scam you because uh, I, I have here the proof that price action is much more than only a few uh, indicators yes and um, yes and uh, some candlestick pattern trading yes because I got so many students so many um, uh, traders who are trading only candlestick patterns and they're asking themselves why they are losing yes because it's not only candlestick pattern and I'm telling this almost one year now yes and there are still somebody uh, some some who do not understand this and uh, yes and that is what makes me a little bit upset because I'm thinking that should have been also known the stupidest one yes that it's not only uh, trading candlestick pattern because if it would be so easy everybody 
he would be a millionaire. Yes, Dude, that is so simple. It's common sense. Okay, so uh, that was it. Yes, uh, if you like this video, do a like. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And if you have something to say, drop me a line in the comment section. So I would say stay safe and bye bye.